This is another in the series of models in the colours of HN Krana of Germany. It's made by WSI and it includes some Shoyola Intercombi units so it comes in this very high quality packaging that's wrapped several times and comes in a really high quality presentation box. When you lift the lid it's good to see there's a set of decent quality instructions and these are pretty clear at describing how the various combinations of the trailer get put together. Inside the box there's some very high quality foam rubber packing and there are some strips of waxy paper that have been used to stop the paint rubbing off the models. There are quite a number of parts to this set and that includes the trailer intercombu modules. And an unusual inclusion in the set is this Volkswagen Escort van. Also included are various different lengths of vessel bed beams so that allows you to configure the model in a number of different ways. The trailer gooseneck has a replica tarpaulin cover on the top. And there's also the MAN TGX tractor. There are various connection pieces for the vessel bed beams and there are also a couple of bags containing some parts that you need to assemble the model. For the initial assembly we'll just make a short configuration using the module units only. The modules join together using the clever system that WSI have developed, they interlock at the top and then underneath you just press a locking bolt into place and that forms a good rigid connection. You can add some detail at the rear of the vehicle by attaching some light clusters and these just clip into place, they're plastic items but they're quite detailed and they clip into place and then you secure them with a bar that goes underneath and uh, that snaps into position. The gooseneck is a nicely made piece and we'll see a bit more of it later but as you can see here it's got some movement possible in its connection to the modules. Adding a module or a vessel bed connector is the same connection process as we saw before and you just again secure it with a locking pin. Joining the gooseneck onto the tractor is an easy and straightforward matter. You just need to line the kingpin up properly with the fifth wheel and when you've done that you can snap it into position and then it forms a solid connection. In this short configuration the only other thing we need to do is to add the metal deck plates and these just drop into place on the module units and form a nice flat bed. If you want you could try to move the airlines from the tractor to connect to the trailer but if you add a load you've got a good display. <laughs> take a look at the van first and underneath paint has been used to highlight the exhaust and spare wheel and although the wheels are very small they look convincing as does the front of the van with a number plate and some good looking lights. The body casting is good but it's really enhanced by the excellent graphics. At the rear the warning sign arrangement is plastic but it looks good. The MAN truck chassis is a typical high detailed WSI model and the tyres are very different on the steering and driven axles. One nice detail is the flash wheel trims that have been applied to all the wheels. The MAN cab looks really realistic, particularly because of the fine quality graphics. And although it's difficult to see, the interior is very good too with MAN on the steering wheel and nicely moulded seats. Behind the cab the equipment tower is very good with a fan enclosed in a mesh screen. And at the back there are decent lights and a number plate. WSI's Shoyola units have been used on many models now and they're well made detailed parts. And on this model the details and graphics are very good on the wheels and on the trailer edges. And at the rear the lights and signs all look convincing. The gooseneck looks good with the plastic canvas top adding realism. And there's some fine detailing with many hoses and a metal handrail. The vessel bed beams have also got some fine details with intricately painted tie down loops. <laughs> We'll start with a look at the Volkswagen van, it drives along just fine on the test track. And although there's no suspension, the steering does work and you can set it to a reasonable angle. And when that's done you can have fun driving your Volkswagen round the bend. But this is an escort van and its main purpose is to provide warnings to other road users. And it's been implemented on the model well because you can open up the sign that covers the back of the van. And also you can raise the main warning sign by lifting the roof and folding that sign out. Next is the turn of the MAN tractor and that rolls fairly well in a straight line. And if we pick it up and take a look at the chassis the rear wheels have a small degree of suspension movement, it's not sprung suspension. And the steering is linked and can be set but it's got a very small range of movement as is often the case on WSI models. And it's hard to send it around the bend. The cab does tilt, although on the review model it was actually glued shut so it took some surgery to free it, but there's a great detailed engine underneath. 
Moving on to the modules, these are well engineered parts and you can certainly roll them very well and they've got excellent suspension on all of the axles. It's all controlled by little springs and they all move independently which is great. They've also got very good steering which is proportional on the three line and four line modules. And as always with these modules it's good to look down from the top and see how the whole mechanism works inside. Once you've got the steering set then they follow a realistic curve nicely. This model includes two complete sets of vessel bed beams, so many configurations are possible. They just assemble together by attaching the various adapters. And once you've joined them up, you secure them with little pins which have nice painted heads so they don't spoil the look of the model. The fit of the parts is fairly good, but on the review model, some work had to be done to get the connections together and to get the pins in place. In addition to the set of telescopic vessel bed beams, there are another set of fixed length beams and they are in three different lengths so you can form any kind of configuration that you want. And another bit of flexibility comes from one set of the module adapters also being telescopic so that you can open them up to get a very wide vessel bed. And with one set of beams being telescopic you can see that many combinations are possible. The vessel bed adapters just clip to the modules in a normal way and the front of the vessel bed just hooks into the adapter on the front module. When you've done that you form the complete trailer and in this case we've got the telescopic vessel bed beams installed and if you want it you can then pull those out and get really a very long model. And that might be a little bit challenging for anyone with limited display space. There are a few more aspects to look at. One of them is that the canvas top can be taken off the gooseneck so you can have an open gooseneck if you want. And there are also some width markers which can be attached. Another couple of details which can be added include a couple of little plastic loading ramps. Now the colour match is very good so they don't look plastic and match in with the model very well. And another interesting touch is that there are four small pivoting brackets which just clip onto the vessel bed beams and these have got floating tops to be able to match the underside of any load. Another point of interest is that there are support bars which can be used to support the gooseneck if it's not attached to a tractor. These just plug into the sides of the gooseneck easily and if you want to store them when they're not in use one option you have is just to turn them through 90 degrees and just stow them pointing backwards. Overall this is a very nice combination set of models in the colours of HN Krana. It's highly detailed and can be set up in many different combinations. It's limited edition and a little pricey but it's easy to highly recommend. Yeah.